our characters can be seen as two sides of the same coin. There's the fierce, sexually liberated Carmen and the demure, traditional Michaela. But in the end, both women are products of their time. Hmm. How do you avoid turning these complex women into caricatures or cliches on stage? Whoa, you just got real deep Ooh. on me. <laughs> Thank goodness I didn't have to make that question up. I think it is easy to become a caricature. Yeah. Entering the role with like this kind of cold, coldness and mm. keeping it all the way through. Like we said before, I think that's completely boring. I actually yeah. think that's not who she is. I also agree. For me, I'm always asking myself, why? Mm -hmm. Like, why is this her response? Or why is this what she leads with? Yeah. And for me, that question really helps me dig into a place that makes it authentic to not only me, mm -hmm. but it, it translates to the audience Absolutely. as genuine. Yeah, for sure. You know, rather than doing this movie because that's just what's always been traditionally yeah. done. She's going to sashay this way yeah. because that's what she does. And it's like, no, that's not how that actually works. Yeah, goes. and I mean, like in the beginning when I started singing Carmen, I was directed by someone that said um, she never should laugh or smile. And I thought, what? That's crazy. <laughs> like, like what? what's happened she's to not, her? She's not this cold witch, you oh know? Oh my gosh. Um, they had a very dark idea of yeah, what, they did. of Which Carmen's that, history. You know that that was their idea, but it was not authentic for me, mm. and so I had to challenge them. You know yeah. because I I feel like as artists when we don't do things that really resonate with us, that's when it becomes like robotic. Yeah, and, and it doesn't translate to an audience. An no, audience can see when you're can. not doing it from a real authentic space. Yeah. I totally agree with you. And I do believe we do have to challenge. But I think what's really interesting for me, how I tend to do it is I always go, because I'm always fascinated by the words that people use to describe characters. So mm. like, you know, sexually liberated, mm -hmm. femme demure. fatale, demure, moral, moral compass, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, gosh, those are very, very intense ideals to, to live up to. And I don't think that any real human being ever truly lives up to those tropes. So hmm. what I try to do when I'm busy looking at a character, I'm always thinking to myself, okay, well, this is a wonderful idea of what this character should be, but does she get there or does she fall short? And how does she respond to that, that relationship? So when Michaela is trying to be demure, is trying to be a good girl, but she's in a space where she has to stand up for herself, how do you how does she negotiate that whole experience? So I'm, I'm, I definitely also try to find the moments in the music that tell me musically mm. that this is not what the idea, the adjective that's being used about my character might not be true in that moment musically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how would, how would I then respond? <laughs> 